So who's the best high school hockey team in Southeast Wisconsin? We've seen a lot of parody so far. Tonight, an interconference matchup. The North Shore taking on the Classic 8 as Homestead welcomes Brookfield Catholic Memorial. One of these teams will try to make a big statement early in the new season. Defense and goaltending dominated period one. Homestead's called to Stephanus with some nice stick work. Goalie Nick Davis gets a piece as the puck deflects off the left post. We are scoreless after one. The Stars got the better of the play in the second period. On the power play, Ron Butson with the long range pass to Patrick McKnight and the senior captain from Catholic Memorial does the rest. He beats Connor McPike for the game's first goal, 1-0 Brookfield. Then just a minute later, it's another breakaway for McKnight, but this time he is stoned by McPike. Highlanders keep the deficit at one, heading to the third. Early on, another great chance for Brookfield to extend their lead. Noah Michelonis to Eric Sinson for the one-timer. The shot goes from post to crossbar, but will not find the back of the net. Still just a one-goal game. Highlanders finally get a chance on the power play, and they take full advantage. Gavin Henry with the backhander. It's loose in front, and Jake Elkert is there for the tip-in. His fifth goal of the year, and we are all even at one. That's my job on the power play. I've gotten two or three or four goals like that this whole season. I have Sean Driscoll and Gavin Henry up there ripping shots, and I'm just standing there trying to get a tip or a juicy rebound like I did there, and I was just happy to tie the game up and give my team a chance to win. Now with under two minutes to play, Gabe Lanerer with a beautiful crossover, but McPike knocks his shot away as we head to overtime. Each team with solid chances in the extra period. First, Marcus Olison's drive for the Stars is redirected by Brady Kajawa, but McPike smothers it. Later, it's Homestead's Ryan Show on the doorstep, but Davis makes the last of his 33 saves. This battle ends in a 1-1 tie, a game that saw positives for both squads. It's all about giving yourself an opportunity to, to win when it's all said and done. I thought our guys did that. Um, nobody likes a tie, but both teams battled hard and, and uh, was happy with the outcome, to say the least. Every game you got to build off of what happened last game, and we were going to put some things into practice that we saw tonight in terms of you know finishing and just being cleaner in our D zone and, and things like that. But uh, you know it's it's a season, and I always tell the guys we we like conference and we like sectional play and things like that. But we're playing for February and March. You know we're not playing for December.